G'day guys, it's Jar here and welcome to your real gayness. So this game was actually sent to me by the developers of the game, which is Lizard Has a Game. So, th so thank you guys so much for sending me this game. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to the game. Go check it out. But from what they told me, basically, your royal gayness, I am a prince who's sick and tired of trying to find... Well, basically, I am a prince who's sick and tired of people trying to think I, I need a princess in my life. Because I'm a gay man and I need a prince in my life. So, we have to... From what they've said to me, I am a gay prince who needs to find a man in my life. And I also need to keep the... Royal, the, the Royal Kingdom a balance. So it's like a management type game as well as finding myself a man. So it's a management game for myself and for my kingdom. So let's just play this game because this actually looks really, really good. It looks very like an Indian style. And I want to say Indian. I'm sorry if I'm incorrect, but it looks like a very like Indian style game. Which I actually quite like. Like the textures overall looks really cool. I'm not going to do an Indian accent because I'm going to screw it really badly. It looks like our carriage has arrived. Are you sure everything's alright, son? We'll be gone for two whole months after all. Dad, I'm not a kid anymore. I can handle it. So I'm Prince Amar. Are you sure? I seem to recall that you nearly broke into tears when the cook burned your dessert last week. If they burnt my chocolate chip cookie, then you know why I'm in tears. I didn't cry, and even if I did, the death of the creme brulee Warrants a few tears. I'm the king of desserts after all. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just remembering about that creme brulee and how he burnt it. He burnt it way too much. Okay. I'm good now. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. My eyes are being weird. So, yeah. It's good that him and I were like, we're both king of desserts. You're not shedding tears when the actual king is leaving, though. Desserts, father leaving. Yeah, you see my point. Stop teasing him, dear. We're keeping the carriage or wait. We'll miss you very much, darling. Keep your wits about you and you'll do just fine. We didn't even get to finish our game, though. I was about to ready to crush you. You won't have time to think about games while you're ruling, but I promise we'll finish it when your father and I return. Alright, as long as you don't go dying. You know, because I don't want you dying on some boat, and then I'm just here and I'm like, thanks. Also, this game is so loud. Hold on. Uh, uh, let me just... Oh, it was hurting my eardrums. Alright. You'll be a real man by the time we return. Ruling a kingdom tends to do that to you. Our little prince, all grown up. Maybe you will find a cute girlfriend while we're gone. Or a man. <laughs> yeah, maybe. So obviously his parents don't know that he's gay. Or bi. Good Goodbye now. See you in a few months. Your royal gayness. So yeah, when they emailed me about this, I was like, I'm so excited. I'm honestly so thankful that they even gave me the opportunity to play this game. And sending it to me was really nice. I was more than happy to pay for it, but they wanted to send it to me anyway. So that was really, really sweet of the game company. And it just looks really amazing. And not only does it look really cool, and like the storyline they sent me was really cool, but not only that is that a lot of like friends and family members I have are in the LGB LGBTQT plus like banner. Or I don't want to say group because that's not great. So I'm going to say like that thing. So having a game like this is actually kind of cool. And especially to all of you guys who are in that area. This is maybe a game you can relate to in some way, shape, or form. I don't know. Drake Master Man... I'm so pronouncing this wrong. Now as... What are you? I don't know. Now as you know, we've gathered here today to witness a transformation. Our dear Crown Prince Amar is taking the throne. It's only temporary, but a great responsibility nether nevertheless. For 60 days, the prince will rule in his parents, though on the king and queen's steed. 
It feels like yesterday that he was playing in the royal gardens with his toys. A marvellous blessing to the royal couple. His birth was a truly mir was a true miracle. As an only child, preached sister, his parents' hopes and dreams rest on him. He is no longer a child, but he remains the sole f rightful heir to the throne of al Majar. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. It's my honour to introduce you to Prince Amar and his first words as a ruler. A great applause booms in the royal hall. The citizens are curious to hear my words. I bet some of them are hoping that I fail, just so they can gossip about it for the next few weeks. Okay, I need to... There we go. I step in front of the audience and take a deep breath. Here we go. Of course my parents had to walk in. Ooh, my camera is blocking what that is saying. That's not helpful. Yeah, hold on. Your choices affect your resources. Wealth equals how rich you are. Army equals the strength of your forces. Loyalty, your noble opinion of your happiness, the mood of your citizens. What about how happy I am? I'm important too. It's great to see so many of you today. I feel honored to be in the presence of each and every one of you. But most importantly, I want to thank one very special group. But most importantly, I want to thank one very special group. Oh, the common folk, the backbone of the nation, the nobles, obviously, I, mean, I would never say common folk, but I would say the people who run the nation, which is everyone. That scared me. I hope to follow in the footsteps of my parents, under whose rule the kingdom has prospered. I may be inexperienced, but worry not. My parents left their three trusted advisors to guide me. Our Drake Master Manga, who kindly introduced me, is an expert on war and battle. So she'll help with that part. She will keep us safe. My real parents also left their Spy Master and Court Wizard with me. Thanks to the Spy Master, Al Majar is always up to date with the latest information on current political situations. As for my Court Wizard, well, he can be through the best potions and all of Terry Iris's, because I do that. With that help, I will rule Almondon to the best ability that I can guarantee. Before I end my speech, I'd like to make one request to the people of Um Encourage your sons and daughters to enlist in the army so that they can make our country safe. Make a donation to the royal coffers so that we have f the funds to make the country a better place. I don't want them to donate because that's a bit sus. That should be my responsibility. But army, why not? And now it is time to celebrate. Eat, drink, and be merry. The guests cheer and clap, so I can only assume my speech went at least decent. No one's throwing tomatoes at me. You look so young, but I, they all look really young, actually, which is kind of weird. Um, great speech, G. Thanks. I was shaking my boots the whole time, and I thought my heart would jump out of my chest. That's a wrap, though. It doesn't matter how you feel on the inside. People will only see what you present to them. A mask of sorts, if you will. And my mask was alright. Right. Your mask was awesome. Forgive me for troubling you, your highness. I am Lord Oakstrong from the kingdom of Eroth. I've heard a lot about you, my lord. So I'm thrilled to finally meet you. You interrupted our conversation. That's rude. Pleased to meet you. Lord Oakstrom, I hope your journey here was without problem. Aren't you cool, Forrester King? Ridiculous. Definitely you'd be polite. Yes, thank you very much. My journey was very pleasant, and Almaja is very beautiful. A bit hot. <laughs> very true, of course. I wouldn't mind visiting the forest of Eros and cool down a bit. I heard it's like paradise. You are very kind, my lord. I will speak of the pleasant times I have heard when I return home. Now I must take my leave. That went well. I'm proud of you, G. How you treat people from other countries affects your relationship with the kingdom, so it would be wise to treat him well. Uh, boss, we're having an emergency. What is it, Barry? I accidentally mixed a potion of fire breath into the punks. Barry, you old fool. How did you manage to do that? My cushion cupboard is color coded green, blue, purple, red, yellow. 
it looks like a rainbow it's so aesthetically pleasing even though it should be red orange yellow green blue indigo violet but i'm working on it i'm getting that aesthetic down cool anyway i probably should not put the strawberry juice next to the fiery stuff and he fixes it somehow. Accidentally chip and knock over the punch, do another speech and inform the people of the danger. Tell you something so discreetly take away the punch. Tell them to get rid of it. Those guests won't be happy to see their punch taken away. I guess, but it's better than the alternative, which is them all killing each other. I don't understand. Have you seen the glint in their eyes? They look pretty thirsty. They're sure are craving that punch. Look, here comes a servant. Uh-oh. I don't want to be in your shoes right now. Someone's rolling up their sleeves. Yep, seems like it's gonna get violent. Is that Marl I see? And a crossbow? How are these guests smuggling weapons into the castle? Run, servants, run! Is everything, is everything alright, my lady? My body's not hurt, but I can't say the same about my pride. Disaster of bed, huh? Good work out there. What do you mean? That was in no shape or form good. Castle didn't burn down, guess when home reality safe and sound. I would say that's a pretty good day. Mm -hmm. I suppose it could have been much worse, my league. We didn't lose a cup we did lose a couple of soldiers who went to settle the fight though. It got that violent? What the hell? They're not dead, just they're not dead, just in need of a long holiday. Like, those guests were vicious. What a wild day. And it's only gonna get wilder. Woo! Please no, I'm dead tired. Let me go to sleep, please. I, I'm begging you, please let me sleep. I, I haven't slept in like forty years. And I'm only twelve. Help me. You'll be alright, my league. You carry a heavy burden. Cause I'm gay? Well, that too, even though I meant the crown. Do you wish to talk about it? I'm alright for now. It's sad, really, that I've gotten so used to living in a lie. That's kind of the sad thing about this world, isn't it? Maybe you can make things better. You wield a lot of power. The suspicious media shows us how suspicious People are of your sexuality. Your choices affect how other view you, so be careful. The meaning feels like you have to face the challenges. Okay, cool. So that's what this like little like thing is over here. If I move my camera down. Whoop. Just watch the suspicious meter on the top left for now. If the suspicion rises too high, there could be problems, and I got 99 of them. I know, you're so full of pop references that I don't understand. Until I make some changes around here, it's probably the best for me to hide my sexuality. <sighs> Cheer up, G. I'll sneak you some leftover cake from the kitchen. Alright, but no punch. I don't need to be burning the place down, please. I like this game a lot, actually. It's really cool. Yo, G. I'm sorry to disturb your rest, but there are some matters that need your attention. You are expected to manage Almaj's resources, laws, and foreign relationships daily. Also, Barry asked me to tell you that now's a good time to go to the options and tick some boxes if you have if you have generously supported the growth of Alma Jo. Not sure what he meant, but Barry said he can make a special someone appear if you do. Done. Okay, so let's do that. Options. So I would guess it'd be these ones. Done. Good. Now let's get back to managing the kingdom. Management. Days. Give commands to your advisors so they can help with shaping your kingdom. Don't worry, G. I'm here to help. Tips. In the management phase, you can give commands to your advisors, brew potions, la la la. Use the tab on the top to navigate. Choose dungeon to vision the dungeon. Select help if you need help. Cool. This is the advisors page. Here you can improve stuff. Potions to go to the potion page. By is to find out information about other princes and princesses. If you want to try dating a prince, spy on him and figure out his interests. That's a bit sus. Okay, so we need to gather... Improve relations. 
think loyalty? Uh, real potion. Chemical X. This special concoction was made from Barry's leftover ingredients. Who knows what it will do, but Barry said it should be safe, safe enough to drink. With this potion, you can uh, chronosode. You can go back in time. Ooh. Will the beard tired of people questioning your manliness? No. Um. No, let's go back. Let's do this one and this one. Laws. This is the laws page here. You can affect the state. Awesome. Raise the taxes. So I don't want to negative anything right now. Ooh, equality though. Homosexual is legalized and no longer considered an illness. That's something I'm going to have to fix is the whole equality stuff way before the rest. Them stats, bro. Give me them stats. Oh, I can change outfits. Oh, so these are. Oh, so we got some locked ones. I like that one though. Um, library. There weren't any special events today. How boring. Time to head to bed. Oh, <gasps> that's so pretty. Oh, that was pretty. I want that. Try to solve your kingdom problems by making challenging choices. That like whole, I want to say Indian landscape, that was beautiful. I actually want that as my wallpaper. That is aesthetically pleasing and beautiful. Time to hold some aud audiences? Mali, the library is on fire. Whoa, put it out. Evacuate the surrounding, um, evacuate the surrounding buildings at once. Mali, we were able to evacuate the buildings but the fire has spread. We've done everything we can to stop it. Get Barry and all these apprentices to the extinguish fire. We cannot let this take world guard. Get Barry and his apprentices. Yes, my league. It took all their combined powers, but the wizards have put out the fire. Barry believes, however, that the fire was magic in nature. He says the flames smell of demonic energy. Demons? Have them investigate the fire quickly. Yes. At once, my league. Barry, you better come back. Hey, Barry. Hey, Bass. Got some bad news. What is it? It's about Nadim a barber. A barber? Your barber. Oh, my barber, of course, Nadim. His stories are hilarious. What happened to him? Is he sick? Is he sick? In my head, maybe. He's in college stealing secrets to foreign spies. Thought he said he did it to raise money. Though he did say to raise money for his family. Do you believe that? I do actually. We looked it up. He's got a son who gets sick a lot. I feel for him, but he cannot bend the law. We have to lock him up. Give him reason without give him a slap on the wrist. Slap on the wrist. Hmm. You must like him, boss. Barry, when I marry, I'm going to be with royalty, not a barber. Though he's kind of cute. We need to bring that up. Phew, that's it for today. Normal audiences, I'm done. Alright, so you guys are all busy because you got the three day stuff. I can't do any of this because it's going to bring that down and I can't do that right now. Okay, let's see. Ama. Ooh, I can read up about myself. The Spy Master. Drake Master. Court wizard. Oh, mum! So she's 43. Dad is 46. Ooh, so it has everyone in here. Interesting. Alright. Done. The evening was calm. Not much happened. Time to head to bed. See, this right here is so aesthetically pleasing! Oh, a letter has arrived. Well, I don't know why I went British then. Hey, ma, it's your pal Omar. Long time no talk. Don't got time for your buddies now that you have the throne, huh? Don't worry, I get it. We all have responsibilities. Something happened that reminded me of you. Remember that old lady with all the cats, the one who lived next to Miss Rabbies? She was like a hundred years old when we were going to prep school. Well, I was walking past her house yesterday, minding my own business, and there she was, alive and kicking. Can you believe that? That cat lady is still alive. Maybe she's a witch or some shit. Anyway, let's catch up some more. sometime. Omar. Hell yeah, Omar. Come over. Come, come to my kingdom, my crib hang out and stuff. 
So this is actually a really fun game. I was just going to be like, you know, little towns and I'd have to like manage it that way. But this is kind of like, um, Reigns? Reigns? Re Reigns? Yeah. Trying to hold some audiences. Your grace. A moment. Of course. The bartender Barry you told me about, the one who was selling the cigarettes, now you let him go, yeah? I did, don't tell me. Nah, no repeat offences. At least, not yet. Ooh, hiccups. Turns out in addition to chopping one heck of a memorial, that guy's got a real knack for information gathering. Long story short, I want him. I didn't see why not, he's yours, hire him. Um, yeah, why not? Superb. Thanks a bunch, G. Okay, I need to bring the royalty up. My league, there has been a massive rise in the cat population within the city. Cats in the streets, cats in the markets, even cats overrunning people's homes. Sounds like a catastrophe. Mm, catastrophic. Huh? Dun, ding. Quiet. I don't think she got the joke. While the people do love all the adorable kittens they have come into their lives, it's been through detriment to the economics. If I could speak, that would be great. No one's going to work. They spend all their day petting cats. It's become a problem. Okay, wait, let's not kill all the kittens. Isn't it is an option having um round up the cats and make them and give them? Sounds like a nice one. Yeah. Yes, I do believe you are correct. I shall put a word to the garrison at once and start heading up the cats. The people probably won't like it, but it will move on in time. I want the royalty to go up. Phew. That's it for today, no more, I'm done. Yeah, I'm gonna give commands. Toss a bit. I put in a few good words about your lo your loyalty score is increased. Thank you. So that's the one I need to do. So gather loyalties. That's the one that just needs to keep going. He needs my back. So then I can start doing this one. And then the free education. Cause they're the only ones I can do. I can see why they cost more, cause that one makes no that one makes sense. But that's the one I want to focus on. All right, we got no one in our dungeons. Let's do one more day, and then we'll end this episode here. Nothing happened special happened today. Time to head to bed. I just love all these drawings. Like even this section right here, where it's like the pillars and that. This in a physical painting would be beautiful. Like this right now would be beautiful in a painting. I would have this in my room. Like everything's just so well drawn. Like even the background of this is beautifully drawn. The characters are beautifully drawn. Everything. Like it's just all like centered. Like the square is there. You got stuff on this side, a little bit on this side. So we kind of got the rules of third type situation. It's all beautiful. Sorry, I'm rambling. Time to hold some audiences. Your Grace. Spymancer, what news do you have for me? It's about the library fire. Searching through the ash revealed signs of foul play. Foul play? Was it arson after all? Worse. Seeing someone attempted to summon a demon in the library basement. And as you can see, it didn't go well. So Barry was right. Find the fool who tried to summon the demon quick. Well, what is done on how Barry put some magic walls up until... Now do this. I want your grace. My league, a situation has arise that demands your immediate attention. There's been reports of a robbery. A local pet owner has their most prized possession stolen. And what that might be. Six handed craft mittens that were made to fit small cats has been reported missing. The cat cannot sleep because of the gold. I know this story. Oh, um, oh, what's it called? Meow, 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 meow. You can have no pie because poor little kitten, he lost these mittens. What is that story called? I used to, mum used to read to me all the time when I was a kid. Now you have no part. Now come on little kitten, come on little kitten, now go find your mittens. And if you don't, now you will have no pie. Hey look mummy, hey look mummy, I found my mittens, now can I have some pie? I swear that's what it was, it was something like that. But I don't remember what it was called, I think it was like three little kittens or something. If nothing is done, the situation is sure to worsen and as continue... As conditions grow chiller, chillier. Have you guys searched village? It's clear that someone needs to need some new mittens. Well, if we just kill them, we don't have to worry about it in the future. No! I shall attend to the matter personally, Your Highness. Good. Phew, that's it for today. 
And even when he says, I am done, the door suddenly slams open. Oh no, a princess. Prince Ma, a princess is here to propose to you. Good luck. Spying the princess to relieve information about her likes and dislikes the next time she comes. I, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm called Sira. I come from Grafranishafel. I'm here to marry you if that's alright. I, I can't marry you because, um, gotta catch up with something quick. My cat has having an abortion, even I am a lonely soul searching for the perfect hot dog. Seeking revenge against my brother who murdered my clan. My cat. Um, I'm having a bit of a hair day. I touched a rat. I think about it. I'm in a hurry to go to mass. Um, I'm at the plague. So, I need to go take see the doctor right away. My cat's having an abortion. I need to be there for him. I touched a rat and I think I might have the plague, so I need to go to the doctor right away. I see. Uh, well, um, if it's okay with you, I could go away now. Oh, well, that's too bad. Goodbye now. It's nice seeing you. So long. I have to go now. Greet your parents for me, won't you? Of course, my lady. The castle's quiet again. Good riddance. That was close. Barry managed to charm the answer by sending the magical gifts. Awesome. Managed to impress them. Awesome. So that's gone up, that's gone up. So we did improve relations. We don't really need to gather wealth. Happiness is fine. Army's fine. I think loyalty we're gonna have to do next. I think you're gonna brew a potion for me. I don't know. That's I don't like the house the beer potion is Tired of people questioning your manliness, having trouble fitting the mold? Despair no more. With the beer potion, you can seem like the straight man society wants you to be. That's so bad. I understand that why the game wrote that, but that's still really bad. I like. It's sad that our society used to think that. That's all. That's what I'm saying. You know what? Let's brew a chemical X potion. Go back to the advisors. You can. Gather wealth. Laws, stats, library. Yeah, we probably work on this one, the 65 one. Who, who does that one? I think that was this one. Done. The evening was calm. We ate our Wednesday dinner peacefully. Time to head to bed. Oh, aesthetics. I love this. A letter has arrived. Oh, let's, re let's read this letter. Your Grace, our archaeologists have discovered an ancient tomb at the edge of Granivajal Fall, and they request the help of a royal scholar of Almajal. It would seem that some of the texts in the tomb are in ancient Majin. Let us discover the culture of those who came before us, your faithful. Sounds amazing, I will inform the royal society scholars immediately. Ava, my man, how have you been? I just wanted to get an update, bro to bro. My parents are talking about setting me up with Tabitha from prep school. Can you believe it? What a deal. Okay, maybe you can't. I know she used to be, well, a bit weird with her nose always buried in the books of hers. Barely ever say a word to me at school. Well, it turns out she grew into a real beauty. She's a bit on the thin side, but oh man, those curves she does have. Wow, jealous much? Nope. I like my guys. Oh, sorry, I like my girls. Just... Adorable and absolutely like personality wise, yes, 10 out of 10. Also, the blue eyes really help for me personally, but you know, that's with all genders. Well, of course, you aren't. You're gonna be the richest and hottest babes from all over Terrace Eyes lining up in your doorstep, but for a lo lonely noble like me, Tap is a great match. I'm curious how you decide who you're going to marry off yet. Of course, it must be hard with those lovely ladies to choose from. Let me in on the latest gossip. Omar. Oh, he hasn't even let his best friend know that he's gay. Ooh, that's going to be challenging. Time to hold some audiences. But with that, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked it, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys really like the game, then go buy it. Link is in the description below. Thank you so much again for Lizard Blizzard 
games for sending me the code for this game. I'm very thankful that you sent me the game. This is actually a lot of fun. I'm having tons and tons of fun. So yeah, I give it so far a rating of like 9 out of 10. The only reason I'm taking it down is because I can't pronounce names, but that's me. But like overall, it's actually a really good game. So if you guys want to get it, links in the description below. And yeah, anyway, Jurat says in the next video, sarcasm out. And let's bring it in for a rest because it hugged. Bye bye. See ya. To all my royal gays out there, I shall bow to you because you guys are pretty damn awesome.